Oh, oh my god, let's get it! What the fuck? Let's get him, baby! Already? Damn. Alright. Please, Jesus. Alright, we gotta remove yeah. that. That wasn't loud enough. I hate it. Do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am the shit you game. Hey, what is going on guys? Zits for its eyes. For guys, today is my level 1000 creative classes, stats, and leaderboards. I am so happy to finally bring you this video. I just could not wait to hit level 1000 just so I can make this video for all of you guys. Now, first off, I have to thank everybody who came out to the stream last night. It was absolutely insane. We had over 300 viewers, we gained over 200 followers, and the chat and the stream was going absolutely crazy when I hit level 1000. So thank you to everybody who came out to the stream, that really means a lot to me. And if you guys ever want to watch me stream, just follow me, link description down below, twitch.tv backslash brizeyes. Now, I don't stream too often, and I don't expect to get that many viewers, but you guys absolutely killed it, and it makes me want to... Just continue streaming and make my streams just a whole lot better. Now bear with me, this video is going to be very long, so I do apologize if I mess up at any point in this commentary. I'm um, probably going like, to stutter a little bit, I'm probably going to you know, not really know what to say, but this video is going to be pretty long, so bear with me here, and if you guys do watch the entire video, you already know, you're the real MVPs. Now before we get into the stats, classes, and leaderboards, I would like to show you guys the after action report, because my last game I played was actually hitting level 1000, so I can show you that quickly. Here are the icons I got. Here's the uh, entire, just the performance here. Level 1000, there's an extra bar to complete level 1000. But you guys get the idea. The, um, the prestige gems are there, and it says level 1000. Next, we're here are the medals. I actually died five off of a nuclear because uh, <laughs> it was actually absolutely insane. I was getting spammed on PS4. All the messages were just spamming my top left corner of the screen. I did not turn on notifications, but it's all right. You guys are awesome, so I, I forgive you there. And then this is the scoreboard. I was playing hard point on Nuketown. You guys saw the clip at the beginning of me just going absolutely insane. So rip headphone users, I apologize for that. Now let's get into the class setups. Now I'm going to show you guys the setups I was using. I don't want to show you guys like useless setups I wasn't using too often. So I'm just going to show you the setups I was using from level 900 to level 1000. So starting off, I use this M87 class. What I have on it is Red Dot, aka Reflex Sight, Quick Draw Stock, an RK5, and then my perks are Overclock, Fast Hand, Scavenger, and Tactical Mask. You guys get the perk idea. I've been using the same perks throughout this entire time of me playing Black Ops 3. It's the same stuff. Um, I decided to change up, change it up on the M87. I decided to take off ELO and put on the Red Dot site. I've been using it a lot, and I've been enjoying it a lot more, actually. I'm surprised I am. Uh, I feel like that my accuracy, my aim with the M8 has just increased by using it. So I really strongly recommend trying that out. So... That's my M8 setup. Moving on, Man of War. I made this very quickly before a game started. I am dropping a nuclear with it, so it might be good. It might not be. I'm not really sure. I just used it one game. What I have on it is Reflex, Quick Draw, Extended Mag, Stock. My perks are Overclock, Fast Hand, Scavenger. And um, yeah, these are two really good core class setups. So yeah, I do apologize if I'm speaking really fast. I just don't want this video to drag on for a very long time. So. Uh, anyways, yeah, moving on to my VMP setup. Every single 200 plus you guys have seen on my channel that's on Nuketown with the VMP and Core, it's with this exact setup. I've been getting asked a lot lately, what is your VMP setup? And here it is. I have Quick Draw, Grip, Fast Mags, Afterburner. I don't really use the Afterburner, but I like to use it here because I like to just jump shot. My, the enemies aren't really expecting me to do that, so it lets me stay alive longer and it lets me waste less time running back to the, their spawn and just destroying them again. So I have that, Fast Hands, uh, Tactical Mask, and Scavenger, so absolutely amazing core setup. And then I didn't use any of these four classes too much, so I'm going to skip those. Moving on to my brand new Razorback class setup. If you guys came from Carnage and you saw that 292 kill game, I was actually using this setup. I have Quick Draw, Fast Mags, Stock for a change. I took off ELO and put Stock, and I've been loving it a lot more. I don't know why this is really good on the Razorback. I strongly recommend trying it out. A C4, Overclock, Fast Hand, Scavenger, you get the idea there. And then my final two classes, I've been going for a Pistol Nuclear, so, oh, excuse me. I was going for a Pistol Nuclear, so I decided to try this setup out. 
I had an RK5 with fast mags, extended mags, C4, overclock, fast hand, scavenger, and tactical mask. So uh, this is my C4, or not my C4, my pistol nuclear setup. And then moving on, this is my melee setup. A lot of people were asking me about this one. So basically what I do here is when I get a brand new weapon, such as all the melee weapons I've gotten, I use this setup to get it dark matter. So I have a combat axe with two shock charges so I can get an easy kill on them, on the enemies. Afterburn so I can have a little bit better movement around the map. Overclock so I can get heat wave faster and I can just heat wave more and get easier kills. Fast hands for whatever reason and then tactical mask for whatever reason. Just two perks I decided to throw on that I always run. And I have all the melee weapons. Dark Matter, all the ones I actually have. So I have the Butterfly Knife, Wrench, Brass Knuckles, Iron Gym, Fury Song, and the Malice. So uh, I'm also missing all of these weapons, or those are those. And then I'm missing, uh, what else is it? I think I'm missing the Pistol, and then I'm missing the Sniper and the HG40 and MX Grand. So I didn't have a good chance of getting those. Moving on to my stats. Uh, we have 143,000 kills with 2,353 wins with a whole lot of score. And I have a 3.51 KD, 10.37 win loss, and my score permits is 744. Now I do play in parties all the time, yes. I really have fun playing in parties. If you play solo, you most likely don't like the game in my opinion. Um, so I apologize if you guys don't like part playing in parties, but that's the only reason I got into COD. So I've, I've been playing parties since day one, and I still tune to this day, and that's why I enjoy playing COD. So I know a lot of people complain about it, just want to address that real quick. I have 17 days played. Moving on to my medals. I just want to show you guys my nuclears, 328 nuclears with 3,165 unstoppables. And then real quickly, I don't really have too much to say about this. I, oh wait, I got out of it. I'm just going to show you guys this real quick if you're interested in this. I'm not really sure what this is, but here are my other medals. Alright, moving in to my, my weapons, my specials, my score sheets, and my equipment. First off, for weapons, my top three weapons I use are the Razorback, VM8, and the VMP. You guys can see my stats there. I'm not going to go over it. And here are the other guns that I have kills with. And as you guys see, six of the brand new weapons I don't have acquired yet. I really need to get these. I have kills with them because I've picked them up a few times. Except the MP or the yeah, MP40, HG40, whatever you want to call it. The sniper, and then the machete looking thing. And then I have a few kills with the Marshall, uh, the bat and the MX Grand, so that's nice. Uh, moving on to my specialist, you, you guys know, my girl, the battery, kinetic armor, 9,254 kill, 726 times used, and 12.75 kills per use. And here are all my kills with the other specialist abilities, you guys can read that if you want to. Uh, score streaks, I love to run non-lethals, you guys know I run them a lot. Uh, here, I'm not gonna go over any of this, I'm just gonna show you guys it. If you guys wanna see anything in specific, you guys can just pause the video. Equipment, here's this. I don't really want to say too much about it. I don't want this video to drag on too much. I said this several times, so I apologize if I'm going a little too fast for you guys. Uh, here are my game modes I play a lot. You can see this oval as so. Arena, not too big of a deal. Played it like once or twice. Uh, leaderboards, so for core, career, we have, this is weekly, monthly, or this is all time. Then this is monthly, so that's nice there. Monthly for Domination 78, all time 873, and weekly 398. Hard point I'm playing a lot recently, this is weekly, that's monthly, and here's all time. Uplink I've been playing quite a bit of, which is really nice. I have this weekly, 4,843, 41 actually. And uh, let's get into the real good stuff. So for those of you guys who made it this far in this video, you guys are about to see some crazy stuff. So let's get into it. So for career for hardcore domination, for weekly we are 16,000, monthly 1,993, and all time 2,045. Nuts on special, I understand, all right. Now let's get into hardcore domination. 28 all time, monthly we're number eight. And number one, are you guys ready for this? You guys ready? I bet you're ready. Weekly, number one in the world for hardcore domination. Let me see a hype in the comments if you guys got this far, nine minutes into the video. I want to save the best for last. Level, or not level one, so excuse me. We are number one in the world weekly. I'm really hyped about that. Did not expect to have that, but I've been had this for quite a while. And I didn't play hardcore dom for... For the, the sheer fact that I wanted to keep this for the video, so uh, I hope you guys respect that. 
And uh, I think I can show you the prestige emblem, and that's going to be it for today. So when you hit level 1000, you unlock prestige 10 for Black Ops 2, prestige master for Black Ops 2, prestige 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 for Black Ops. And then, of course, my favorite prestige icon of Call of Duty history the Black Ops 1 Prestige 15. I don't know what it is, but I love this Prestige Emblem. It's my favorite one of all time, hands down. I'm currently rocking with the World at War Prestige And I 10. think that's going to do it here for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, if you guys shoot for 1,000 likes, a like for every single level, that would be absolutely insane. Um, <laughs> I, I, that makes me laugh because I don't, I don't know if we're going to do that, but... That'd be awesome. That's going to be like, oh, 1,000 likes for one of the very first legit level 1,000s. You don't see them too often, so I think that's a deserved like, goal. Now, very quickly before I end the video, I apologize if I was stuttering a little bit and, you know, just kind of fumbling words and just messing up in the commentary, but I actually recorded this earlier and it corrupted for some reason, so I'm kind of out of breath from just doing the video twice now, so I apologize for that. I hope the commentary was all good, and I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like in the comment, much appreciated. And if you watched all 11 minutes of this video, leave a comment down below saying hashtag birthday cake. Everyone who didn't watch this entire video is going to be very confused why you're going to see a bunch of hashtag birthday cake in the comments. So leave that comment down below for all of you real MVPs who watched the video. And I'll talk to all of you amazing subscribers later. I'm Frizz Eyes. And I'm out. Peace, guys.